Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to upgrade a Catalyst 9300 series switch. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and how to verify some of the steps along the way. Make sure you have a sound software package, how to make sure that the proper files were installed and go from there. In install mode, it is a little bit different than the old school, just drop a bin file on the device and reboot it. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the steps how to do this and talk about caveats and things to be aware of along the way. Anyhow, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Let's dive in and check it out. To get started, you wanna to connect to the switch. You can do this over SSH or with a console cable. I happen to be SSH'd into the device. Uh, I have a link in the description to the Cisco documentation, helpful for reference if you get stuck. I'm gonna just follow through that. Uh, the first thing to do is to do an install remove inactive. And what this does is this is actually going to take away any old software packages that are left over from prior installs, makes sure that there's space on the device to both transfer down and install the software package. This will take a little while to complete. If you're asked to confirm, you wanna go ahead and do that. The next step is to copy the software onto the switch. Now you could do this via HTTP, TFTP, a couple other uh, secure copy, you can actually stick a USB flash drive in the front of the switch as well and copy it from there. In this case, I'm gonna use HTTP because I have a, a, a web server in my lab and you simply do copy HTTP server address slash file name space flash, confirm the file name and it is gonna grind through the process of copying that down. Software images are a little over a gig these days. So we'll be back when this finishes. Once we have the file downloaded, I highly suggest verifying it, which means essentially capturing the MD5 hash or SHA hash of the file itself. And you can actually compare this with the hash that's provided on cisco.com to make sure that the file moving from cisco.com through your web server or TFTP server to this device has not been corrupted in any way. Uh, if it is, the, the hashes will not match and of course, if it's still solid, the hashes will be exactly the same. I'll show you how to do that right now as well. You'll do verify and you'll do slash. You can do question mark. You can see that SHA and MD5 are options. We're just gonna do MD5 and we'll do flash and the file name. Again, this will take a minute to finish, but you'll have the hash value when it's done. As you can see, the hash value on the screen or in the terminal window matches the hash value on cisco.com. So we are good to proceed. The documentation suggests you do a no boot system command. This will remove any boot settings that are on the system currently. Then do boot system flash packages dot C O N F. Then you can do no boot manual and exit. This sets up the boot configuration so that once we are done upgrading, things will be good to go. This is again, just reestablishing the proper defaults for after the software upgrade. From here, you can do a write memory. And if you want to inspect the boot options, you can do a show boot command as well. You can see the uh, settings that we configured there. The boot variable is set. The next command is the install command. The command is actually install add file and then the file name, flash colon file name dot bin, active and commit. Once we press this command, it's gonna start extracting and executing the install. It will warn us and prompt us that the switch may reboot as part of this process. You'll wanna hit yes for that. Again, assuming that you're ready to do this and go from there. Let's do it. There's the prompt I mentioned. We'll hit Y to accept. Again, this process will take some time. What I like to do in the meantime is open a continuous ping window, ping the device, and then I can see if it goes offline, and then I can see when it comes back online and is available to reconnect to. Again, takes a couple minutes, so you gotta be patient. All right, so the switch is rebooted. We've logged back in, and to confirm the software update, it's our favorite command, show version, scroll the whole way to the bottom, and here you can see is our switch and our software version. We were on 17.9 before, now we're on 17.12. Boom, upgrade is successful. If you got other questions, comments, tips, tricks about upgrading software on Cisco switches, leave it in the comments section. As always, I wanna thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We hope to see you back sometime soon.